Hey everybody, this is Will Mahoney, an environmental educator at Fort Far Field Station. In today's episode, I will be talking all about parrotfish. This incredibly diverse and often colorful group of fish plays a very important role in maintaining the world's coral reefs. So today, we'll take a look at how they do this, why parrotfish matter, and why it's important for us to protect them. The parrotfishes are a group of mainly herbivorous fish found in the coral reef environments around the tropics and subtropics. There are about 95 different species of parrotfish worldwide, and there is a lot of variety between these different species, but all play significant roles in maintaining coral reefs and bioerosion. Parrotfish feed mostly on plant matter, and some species are famous for secreting excess mucus from their mouths to form a cocoon to sleep in. This helps protect the sleeping parrotfish by hiding its scent from nocturnal reef predators like sharks and eels. It can also alert the parrotfish that danger is nearby. If a predator penetrates the cocoon, this wakes the sleeping parrotfish up and gives it a slight head start in escaping. This interesting group of fish also has a very specialized life cycle. Most species of parrotfish are sequential hermaphrodites. This means that they start life out as females in their initial phase and eventually switch sexes to become males later in life during their terminal phase. Parrotfish will often live and feed in schools that are made up of similarly sized fish and males will often school with multiple females at once. When parrotfish spawn, they do so via broadcast spawning and do not care for the young, like many other reef fish. To understand why parrotfish are such an important part of the coral reef ecosystem, we first have to look at threats to coral reefs. Managing and protecting coral reefs may be simple on paper, but in practice, it can actually be pretty tough. Doing things like practicing sustainable fishing, reducing pollutants, and avoiding damaging corals seems pretty simple, but sadly, not enough is being done to save these beautiful and complex ecosystems. When coral reefs begin to suffer and die off, algae begins to grow on the dead coral and the rock that the coral grows on and can choke out surviving corals and other organisms. However, there is hope. Parrotfish get their name from their unique beak-like teeth, often compared to the beak of a parrot. They are mainly herbivores and use this distinct beak to feed on algae by scraping it off of corals and other hard substrates that the algae likes to grow on. In some cases in the Caribbean, up to 90% of a parrotfish's diet consists of algae. In addition to controlling algae populations in and around coral reefs, parrotfish also produce sand. As they scrape algae off of rocks and dead corals, some of the indigestible calcium carbonate is ground up and eaten along with the algae. After passing through the parrotfish's digestive system and being ground up even more, the fish excrete this calcium carbonate as sand. This helps keep beaches healthy worldwide. A single parrotfish can produce up to 200 pounds of sand in just a single year. As human populations grow and more and more people are catching fish to eat, the larger predatory reef fish species like groupers and snappers are seeing a decrease in numbers, especially in older and larger individuals. Because of this, fishermen in areas like the Caribbean are instead turning their focus to a previously less popular eating fish, the parrotfish. In one study conducted in 2019 and published by the Ecological Society of America, scientists found that in areas with heavy fishing pressure, parrotfish populations are made up of mostly smaller, younger fish. In some cases, up to 70% of parrotfish on reefs were less than 11 centimeters long. This has two major negative impacts. First, as mentioned before, Parrotfish control algae growth on reefs. When they begin to be overfished, the algae is able to grow and spread much more easily. The second issue is that the larger, older parrotfish are the main breeders. They produce more eggs than the smaller parrotfish and help maintain healthy populations. With the larger fish being caught to be eaten, parrotfish numbers will continue to decrease over time and reefs will continue to become less healthy. Parrotfish help keep the world's coral reefs healthy and happy. Without them, the world's oceans might look very different than they do today. Sadly, parrotfish are in trouble in some places and they, along with the coral reefs and all the other organisms that depend on them, need help. If you would like to learn more about parrotfish, their relationships with coral reefs, coral reef health, and overfishing, be sure to check out the links on our website. I hope that this episode was interesting and informative. Thank you from International Field Studies.